All right, so tonight's lesson is lesson 112, and we are finding the LCM today, or the least common multiple. Okay, so for our first one, um, we're gonna deal with four and six, but I wanna um, head down to the bottom of our notes right here and kinda explain to you again what a multiple is. And a multiple is the product or the answer to a multiplica multiplication problem of a counting number and another number. Okay, so basically just our counting number that we're going to use here is four and then any other number when we're multiplying um, what their answer is. So first we have to find, to find the LCM, the least common multiple, we have to find all of the multiples of four and then all of the multiples of six and then we have to decide or, or look at the, the one that they have in common and then find the smallest one. So that's kind of like what we're doing in order, but we're gonna do it first. So I need to find the multiples of four. Um, so really to do this, I think about, okay, four times one is four, because I'm multiplying. Four times two, eight. Four times three, 12. Four times four, Excuse 16. Uh, four times five, 20. Four times six, 24. Four times seven, 28, 4 times 8, 32, and 4 times 9, 36. I'm going to do the same thing for 6. 6 times 1, 6. 6 times 2, 12. 6 times 3, 18. 6 times 4, 24. 6 times 5, 30. 6 times 6, 36. And I can stop right there. Okay, now I need to go back and I need to circle all the ones that they have in common. So I'm not going to worry about having the smallest one. I just want to find the, the one that they have in common. So I noticed, okay, 12 and 12, 24, 24, and 36. Great. But even when you look at the directions, the least common multiple, you can tell that we are going to find the smallest. That's what matters. So I look at all the ones that I've circled, and my smallest number is 12. So the LCM of four and six, the, lo the least common multiple is 12. All right, and one more. These lessons have been shorter lately, um, but we'll be practicing this strategy in class a ton. Okay, so we, we're gonna do the same thing, find the least common multiple for six and eight. So I need to write all the multiples of six out first, all the multiples of eight out, and then find the smallest one that they have in common. So six times one, Six. six times two, 12. Six times three, 18. Six times four, 24. Six times five, 30. Six times six, 36. Six times seven, 42. Six times eight, 48. Eight times one, eight. Eight times two, 16. Eight times three, 24. Eight times five, mm, okay, sorry. We need 32, we need 40, and 30, sorry, 48. So we do them all in order. Now, I'm going to go through and circle the ones that I have in common. So I look, okay, 24 for sure. Do I have any more in common? More in common, oh, 48 at my end. Okay, and my smallest one, 24. This is my smallest common multiple that six and eight have together, 24. All right, and here's your lesson practice for tonight. And we will go through all of these tomorrow and practice doing this a lot tomorrow in class.